Run for the blood god! Skulls for the skull throne! Hey guys, I'm Angela and welcome back to Hobby Nights. Today in Warhammer News, we're looking at video games. First up from the Warhammer Skulls Showcase, a brand new expansion, or actually Lord launch for Total War Warhammer 2, the Silence and the Fury, Fury which I'm actually really excited for because I've not actually played, I've played a ton of Total War Warhammer 2, but I've actually not played that much Lizardmen and I've almost, I don't think I've ever played Beastmen. So the fact that we're getting these two new Lords, which I think might be the final two for the game because three is like right around the corner. I'm actually really excited to jump back into two with these last two Lords and play some games with them because they look really exciting. I'm especially hyped about the Skink. Like he looks really cool. I can't wait to see what his gameplay looks like. Run for the blood god! Skulls for the skull throne! I'm so excited for Total War Warhammer 3 and this trailer with, um, I- Skarsbrand! Yes, Skarsbrand! Sorry, I completely blanked on his name because I just, my mind went blank because I was like, just big double axe demon lord. <sighs> it's so cool looking. Like, the, the trailer with Kislev and everything, I thought was gorgeous. I think those minis are like when when it comes out as miniatures and seeing those models in game and stuff is going to be very cool. I I do do love playing some human factions in fantasy like games because I just I'm human. I like that connection. It works really well for me. But god darn it. Like holy cow, the demons. The demons look so cool and I can't wait to see 
beyond the corn demons when they eventually get to some of the other guys. Because don't, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I love me some corn demons. They are lovely. Red is a beautiful color. But I want to see what my Nurgle boys look like. I especially, though, especially because I feel like they don't get actually like referenced in video games very often or used in video games rather. I want to see Zinch and Slanesh demons, especially actually Zinch demons. I feel like you don't get like Zinch, like blue horrors and like all of that kind of stuff. I feel like you just don't see those kinds of things in video games very often. And because they're mutations and like weird creatures, I would think that the art teams would really want to work with them because you could be very creative and do some interesting, cool things with some like rad effects and like beautiful pinks and purples and blues. And I just, I want that. I want that so bad. But this trailer has me super hyped for the game. Can't wait for it to come out. Totally going to be playing a ton of it. I hope I don't suck at it because it's been a while since I've played. Tell me what you guys think about it down in the comments. How hyped for this game are you based off that trailer? Because mm, I really am. And in news related as to why I need to get an Oculus Quest, we have Tempest Fall, which is a brand new Age of Sigmar VR game that honestly, when it first, like when they first had a trailer out for it, I wasn't super impressed. This new trailer is a lot more interesting to me and I actually am a little bit more interested to actually play this game. But that's not the only VR game that's getting an update or actually, well, this one's getting an update, that one's new. Um, Sister or Battle Sister, is also coming out with a update and it looks a lot better than it had previously. I've actually watched a little bit of Shayna Baszler, who is a pro wrestler, play this on Twitch. And it was interesting watching her play it because it was kind of janky. The trailer now makes it look a little bit more smooth. The models look a bit more polished. There are still like, I still have a little bit of concern with it because like the flamethrower, for example, is a little awkward looking. Um, but honestly, it still looks like it could be fun. So I'm definitely interested in playing it. Let me know what you think. Hey guys, hope you're enjoying this video. If you are, make sure to hit that like button. If you're not, make sure to hit the dislike button. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe. Now, something that I also wanted to chat with you guys about today is the launch of my brand new Patreon page, where if you support it, you can have a say on an upcoming video series that will be on this YouTube channel, and I'm really looking forward to it. You also get behind the scenes content, such as additional photos, some short vlogs and such. There's not really a set schedule for it, but there is a bunch of content up there already. So if that interests you and you want to potentially have a say on a new series on the channel, make sure to check the link in the description below and check out our Patreon page. Now, let's go ahead and get back to the video. Next up, we're going to take a look at the giveaways or the bundles that they're giving away over on Good Old Games, where you can get a bunch of free goodies, including some like artwork pieces, the original OST for Mechanicus, which is awesome. You can get a sample adventure for Wrath and Glory, the tabletop RPG set in the 40K universe, as well as a bunch of other cool stuff. So go check that out while supplies last. The weave is dying and forgiveness is dead. I could not give her what she sought. The blessed sisters of Kadai and Kitharai seldom allow prayers to go unanswered. But one should always be careful seeking favors of goddesses. 
One never knows quite how it will end. The recent launches for the new updates for Vermin Tide 2 are coming to console soon, and they look pretty rad. We already have them available on PC, and you get the Sister of Thorn, which is a new character or way to play the Wood Elf character in there, which actually, when I played, is actually the character that I used. I should probably try that out. I do like the spear, and I always use the spear whenever I like ran her in a... Uh, in the game, unless I was doing a bow and arrow, I guess. But I like that she could do both. So I'm actually kind of excited about that now that I have think, thought about it a bit more. Plus, there's also the Chaos Waste expansion that has come out. And it sounds really cool. From my understanding, it sort of functions a little bit more like a roguelike. So it adds a lot more replayability back into the game, which is one of the criticisms that the original game, um, when it launched, sort of had, because you kind of got into this like formula and it felt very repetitive. Now, because things sort of change as you're going through the Chaos Waste and they can be very different and varied, you actually get some variability and some great replayability because of it. So it's probably a game I'm going to have to peek my head back into and check it out. Then there was a small trailer that led into a preview with Dan Abnett talking about Dark Tide and how it was writing that and how he was excited to be working on another project that was talking about the humans of the 41st millennium because he really enjoyed that with Ghost Gaunt or Gaunt's Ghost. Sorry, I said that backwards, um, which was relevant because we are, of course, getting new miniatures for them soon. So it's all tied in together. And honestly, Dark Tide looks so good. This is the game that I'm most excited to play with. Chaos Cultist because like we enjoyed Vermintide but I think we're gonna like this a lot more and it just it looks really good you guys I can't wait the galaxy is aflame the shadow of damnation spreads across the stars to repel this darkness a mighty crusade is launched the threat of chaos must be driven back Uncountable enemies stand in their path, but the defenders of the Imperium do not stand alone. <sighs> Guided by their unshakable faith in the Emperor, they will vanquish the storm. They will be the light that breaches the darkness. Next up, we have a mobile game called Lost Crusade that is a Game of War clone, so if that is your thing, definitely check this out because, oh my god, the art in this game looks stunning. Chaos Cultist has been playing it a little bit and I've been watching over his shoulder and oh my gosh, I just, I love how this looks. I'm definitely going to download it myself because 
I want to start to try it out just because I really have been into feeling like I'm in the world of 40K. And this one, because of the visuals, I don't know. It just, it feels grim dark enough. I think it's really cool. Having played a bit of it, once yes. again, if you're not into those machine zone, you build a base and then deploy units free to play kind of games, you're not going to like No, no, gameplay. no, no, absolutely not. But if you're into that, which I actually kind of am, I think this might be up your but alley. The art, the yeah, art God. on this game. I want the art book for this game. So do I, so do I. Like if they put out an art book for this, I would so pick it up because it just looks absolutely stunning. Then there was Stormground, which I've taken a look at. Not super impressed personally. And I have one major criticism with them because every time I've seen these trailers, they always claim that it's the first Age of Sigmar video game. And it's not because they have a Warhammer Underworlds game, which is also Age of Sigmar. So I don't understand this marketing and that frustrates me a little bit with this game. And also it just, I don't know, wasn't super impressed. Necromunda is the greatest hive world in all of the Imperium where humanity has been allowed to grow unchecked. It's damn good for business. When it comes to hunting marks in the Hive City, there's only one thing you need to know. The house always wins. What I am impressed with, however, is how much fun I have been having playing Hired Gun. And if you want to check out my thoughts in more detail about the game and everything, make sure to check out Monday's video where I'm going to be playing through a level or two, depending on how long the one that I pick is, and just giving my thoughts. So check that out on Monday. By Nuffle, I'm so bored. If only I had some Blood Bowl to entertain myself. Rejoice, dear customers, as Cabal Vision offers you the complete Blood Bowl Championship. It's Griff Overwald himself. You read all my books, saw all my movies, and listened to all my hits? Then you'll also love to see me win as the best coach in all of Blood Bowl. Where can I watch it, Griff? Hey, a big lug exclusively on Cabal Vision, of course. Your only source for Blood Bowl. Subscribe now and you could win an authentic Blood Bowl ball signed by the one and only me. I am contractually obligated to say that Griff Overwald is the dreamiest. Well, with that out of the way, I am so excited for Blood Bowl 3. The sign up for beta is live, so if you guys are wanting to get in on that, make sure to go ahead and sign up. They should be sending out emails, hopefully soon, so that people can actually start playing it and seeing how it works and everything. It looks really cool. They talked a lot about um, how they're bringing in rules from the tabletop to this version of the game, which they've of course always done and they've been exceptional about it. I also just want to say when it comes to Games Workshop's advertising for Blood Bowl, and I don't know if it's on GW side or if it's on, um, I'm forgetting the publisher's name now for Blood Bowl, um, but if it like whoever the company that is putting together their marketing packages for this, I love them. They're so much fun. Like everything that comes out for Blood Bowl in regards to that is just exciting and like high energy and just goofy as hell. And I love it. I want to see so much more of that in like across the brands just because I think it's really fun when they go goofy. Next up, we have Battle Sector, which is a strategic grid based game that looks interesting honestly like I don't just like those types of games but my biggest concern with this one is that one I find it really hard to tell what the heck I'm looking at because everything just blends together too easily like the models are just not distinctive and the ground just gets so muddy looking with everything that's going on also I do find it a little weird that they're not like hex based like grids as opposed to the squares that they decide to do because I feel like that's more flexible with like maneuverability and everything and giving your player more options and I know this from experience with playing like board games and such. So I just, I find it a very interesting choice. So I don't know how exactly I'm going to feel about this game. I don't know if I'm going to be playing this one, but if you have, because I do think it's out already, let me know what you thought of it.
We also got a trailer for Soul Arena, which honestly, this one looks a lot better than the first one they showed on like, I think it was Warhammer Fest actually, and it really upset people. Um, we've gotten to see a bit more of what the actual models look like on a just more, you know, front facing perspective and everything. So this auto chess battler, looks interesting. I do think that the models fit for the style, like the genre of game that it is. Um, but I don't, I still just don't know how interested in it I am. Like, it's interesting that they did a reskin of this type of game using the Age of Sigmar characters. I just didn't know if it's really necessary. Oh, we'll see. Next up, Warhammer Quest Silver Tower is getting a new expansion in Warhammer Quest Hammer Fall. And it looks, it, that's not the name of it, I can't remember, I got it wrong like three times, but we're going to skip that and just keep moving on because we actually didn't get a huge amount of information on it other than it's an expansion. It's going into the shadows, so it's going to be darker. Um, and we're going to see what it looks like. I'm kind of excited, but I haven't heard a whole lot about this game. So if you've played it, let me know about it down in the comments. Shooters, Blood, and Teeth, which I fully think should be called Shooters, Ludas, and Teeth, because that just sounds and rolls off the tongue better. It's so much cooler. But this was by far of all of the previews that they did or the, the trailers that they did for new games for Games Workshop, this is the one that stood out to me the most because I had not seen anything about this. I think it's adorable looking. I love that they are going with the Metal Slug style of art. I want a freaking full cartoon done in this art style. I'm going to be picking up this game just because I like the artwork for it. Also, they better come out with an art book because I want that so badly for this game. It's just gonna be so gosh darn cute. I need them to, I want stickers. I want stickers of these characters as well. Like, it's just the Lehman Russ when it came on screen, it was just so cute. Like the orcs are amazing because obviously it focuses on them, but like seeing the Imperial stuff, I just, I really like the way it was drawn. I'm very hyped for this game, obviously. If you were wanting to try that game that was claimed to not exist, Warhammer Underworlds, Warhammer Underworlds Online, you can go ahead and try it out for free and keep it for free up until June 10th will it'll be available for this on Steam. I'm definitely gonna be grabbing it because while I have heard sort of mixed reviews about the game, it has, from my understanding, a little bit of a steep learning curve um, just for like learning how to actually play it and everything. I'm still very interested in it and I do really, I mean, I paint a lot of Warhammer Underworlds models. This might be a really good way for me to start learning the game a little bit better. So I'm probably gonna grab a copy of this game while I can. Make sure to grab yours before June 10th. We got 
a brand new teaser trailer for a brand new game that focuses on Grey Knights. And I am very, very interested in this because it looks really, really cool looking. It is called Chaos Gate Demon Hunter. And we just got a very short teaser trailer. It looked stunning. We're going to be getting a full trailer in August. So I'm super hyped for that. Make sure to check back to the channel to get my thoughts on it once that is out, because I'll definitely be talking about it in a news video. But this looks really cool. Let me know what you guys are feeling about it so far, because I feel like Grey Knights are a product line that does not get recognized outside of the miniatures game, like very often, except for like the books. So it's really cool to actually see them featured in a game of their own. I'm going to be very curious to see like what the narrative's gonna be, what the gameplay is gonna look like. I can't wait to see more. All right, well, that was quite a number of new trailers that we got for Warhammer video games. And honestly, some of them I'm really excited for, others, not so much, but I'm sure you guys have some opinions on them. So let me down, know about them down in the comments below. And if you are interested, I want to plug the Patreon one more time, where if you sign up, you could potentially be listed like these folks here on the sidebar and getting an extra special thanks for supporting the channel. But I have been Angela. Thank you guys so much for watching. Extra thanks to my patrons, and I will see you next time. Actually, I'll see you tomorrow for a normal news video, and on Monday, we have a brand new special video coming out, and I'm very excited for it, and it's tied to what we talked about today. So I'll see you then.